Hello and welcome to QuickSight.com's tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to make sections and categories. Go up to the, your website path and type in administrator after the last forward slash. Log in with your username and password. And creating in sections and categories is uh, very straightforward and easy. You would mouse over content and you'll notice your section manager and category manager. It's important to view sections as file cabinets and categories as the drawers that go in those file cabinets. So it would only make sense that you would probably need to make your section first so you have categories to go into, much like you would need the file cabinet to already exist before you have any drawers to put into them. So to create a new section is very easy. Just click on section manager and go over to the new button which is always the white plus over the green circle around it and you'll notice that already I have a section manager called general content which is very generic but uh, let's say we're going to create a new one again very straightforward you have a title of what it's going to be you have your alias which your application uses for database storage reasons and typically for your alias I like to make it the same as my title except lowercase and no space. So for example I'm going to call my new section new section and the alias will be the same but lowercase with no space. It's going to ask if I want it published or not. Yes I do. After you create the section you can order it later. It's going to ask you what you want the access level to be which is always public by default. You can either set it to be registered or special which is going to restrict which users can actually view the page or more specifically view the articles or pages within this section. This can come into play when you have content that you may wish to have your users pay for to be able to see or download from. And of course you can type any description here you need for this section. And again, apply will save the changes and leave me on this page, but I know I'm going to be done with it and want to go back to uh, the main menu, so I'm just going to hit save. It says section saved. Kicks me back out to my section manager and there's my new section. Go and create a category to fit into that section. Then go to your category manager. And you'll see I already have a category called web pages. And it shows that it resides in the section general content, which if you remember, is this section right here. So basically a good way to look at that is that you have a file cabinet over in the corner and you've got a label on it called general content and you have one drawer in that, final cab in that file cabinet and the drawer is called web pages. So I'm wanting to place a drawer in the new file cabinet that I made. I'm going to call it new category and again the alias is lowercase no space. Description will be typed there if you choose. It's going to ask me the section or basically which file cabinet do I want to put it in. Now I can certainly make a new category and place it into the general content but in this example I was wanting to take my new category and stick it into my new section and you would do that with that drop down box there. Click Save and when you do that you see that we now have a new category called new category and it resides in the section new section. So again, I have a file cabinet called General Content and it has a drawer in it called Web Pages. I have another file cabinet called New Section and it has in it called New Category, a, f a file or a drawer. And just to drive the point home, I'll create another category and place it in the General Content section in this example and you'll notice that the section general content or the file cabinet general content has two drawers in it one drawer called web pages and one drawer called another category you can also see this reflected in the section manager in the general content file cabinet we have two drawers or in the general content section we have two categories and in the new section file cabinet we have one drawer or one category Creating sections and categories is very important to the organization and flow of your website and business 
just like a brick and mortar shop with actual paper and uh, the real need for a file cabinet and how it organizes your content. Um, if you're just having a few pages or not too many pages, you can get by with just one section and one category. Otherwise, if your business model calls for a high degree of organization, you certainly have um, unlimited categories and sections that you can create to accommodate whatever organizational needs you have. But this is a step that you're going to want to do. Um, generally, it's best done on paper um, before you ever get on the web, and it uh, should be a reflection of how you're going to organize your content. And you're going to want to set up these two areas first, your sections and your categories, before you actually get into your article manager. And that is how you make sections and categories, and that concludes this tutorial.